right, so working on the plow truck today. Uh, this is my 99 Cummins. And uh, I got, got a salt box in the back that I used to put my extra bulk. And uh, I have the, the back area protected uh, with carpet and whatnot, and you still get some crud corrosion comes through. Uh, a year or two ago, I accidentally backed into something uh, backing up nice and slow. Thank goodness it was wasn't going fast. So I took the salt spreader off the spring and I can't get my tailgate open. You can see them in the light here. That latch mechanism inside there is kind of rusty. This one's in better shape, but those tabs won't let go. I got in here and I hit that button right there, lifted it up, and then tried to lever leverage on that tab, tried to pull it down, kind of like a uh, override, but it didn't. So there's three bolts right here. They are a T30, and that makes this part loose, so I'm gonna try and open this up and see if I can get in there and loosen some of that stuff up. I've already sprayed the hinge in here with PB Blaster and then on both ends of PB Blaster. So I take a screwdriver, come inside here nice and carefully, pull this out so I can get out one piece and one handed. There we go. Okay, so that that comes out, set that to the side, get the light again, let's take a look. Alright, so that pivot point right there is where the two pieces move back and forth. And there's a cable on each end that goes to that latch. And on that rusty piece there, a cable up top that goes all the way across for that latch. So what we got to do is get... I have sprayed PB Blaster in there. Let's see if I get this down there. We got that's a better, better shot. So I'm gonna get pliers and a screwdriver and whatnot and try and gently work these back and forth. You know that that arm piece there and that arm piece right there. And let's see. Let's see if I can get something on there. I tried screwdriver up right there try to move that back and forth basically what you want to do is you just want to get get those two pieces moving since they're kind of rusted up from sitting through a salty winter get those two pieces moving back and forth and then we should be able to uh, get the thing to open up and free everything up so I'm gonna work on that try and get that moving back and forth and I do stand slightly corrected if you move this up there you can see are the parts that go to each side. So actually I may be in good shape. What you can do is, like I showed in the Equinox rear hatch, you take this, pull that red piece up, and then you can pull that rod out. And then I will try and pull on that back and forth and free that up. That's a much easier rod to take. So let me get that unhooked. side now as you pull this rod off do not drop it because it will go way down into your tailgate and it will take a long time to get it back so hang on to that puppy at all times all right so I can get this out of the way all right that's got a L, L shape on it so good place to put your thumb and you just sit here and work it back and forth for a few minutes spray a little make sure you got enough PB blaster in there so 
this man this thing is in the way I could get a lot more done if I could get get some clear area down here to pull on this put my hand underneath it so it don't drop all right so I'm gonna keep working on that for a while we'll see what happens all right so I unhooked the other side And that works as it should. You can hear the. So that's that side's ready to come out. Um, yeah. So it's this side that's got dented. That's that's the issue. All right. So I'm gonna put this back in. Do not lose that. Get this up in the air. Oh, don't go down there. Do go in your hole. There we go. All right, so let me pull this one back out. Uh, another thing you can do, get the light on this, is as you can see that, these two arms need to go back and forth. So when you have one of these out of here, hang on to it, or I don't know, maybe duct tape it to the side or something. Have a friend hold it, uncle, nephew, whatever. Take your hands and work these back and forth so that it makes it more pliable. See there, squeeze them and open them back up. Work them back and forth a number of times. Yeah, see these move pretty easily. Sorry, you can't see that. Let me lower this a little so as you can see move these guys back and forth so the easier those move the easier it's going to be to open your tailgate like that so uh, this side is good uh, the pivot works so I'm gonna go back to pulling on this I have another tailgate I can put on if, if worse comes to worse so that is the issue here this is dented in so far that the the bar this bar here goes down and curves back so um i'm just gonna i'm gonna put my vice grips on there lock it down and see if i can work it back and forth so i will see you in a moment all right so i got got the vice grips on here i put them on extra tight because i don't want this thing sliding off so let's Hey, that looks promising. Let's keep working it back and forth a little bit. Yeah, that that really could use some banging out and get that dent out of there so you have a, a clear straight path for that pull rod. So I think that did it. I mean, we definitely got about an inch of travel because it was it started right there and you can hear everything moving so sometimes all you need is a little more leverage all right so let me get i got that one on already put this back in the holster actually that don't match up that means this needs to go in a little more there we go push that in a little further and that should slide right over top put a little oil in that too to so it moves a little better. As these get older, they get brittle, and they can break, and then you're you're out of luck. You gotta go back, go to the junkyard and find some parts. So let's go ahead and bolt. See, there's one, two, three on our our backing plate for the tailgate. Let's go ahead and bolt this back together, and then see what we got. All right, so it's lined up from from the side. Take a look, see there. I can see it. Wouldn't hurt at all to put uh, some never sees on these. Okay, let's go in the front and take a look. All right, so as you see, you hit that, and these move. They don't move independently yet. 
So pull that, pull those both together, and then hit our door with a little bit of gentle persuasion. Take a look. Hey, looky there. We are open, campers. Open for business. Sweet. All right. So there you go. All right, so just a little update, addendum. If you have a bad latch, like on this side, um, if you have a good tailgate but a rusty latch, you can replace just the latch. What you want to do is undo the little arm like I showed you with uh, this guy right here. Take that off. And then you got two bolts here. They are a T45 Torx bit. And then just pull this out. Here comes your whole arm assembly. And what you can do is either you get it online or the junkyard or whatever. You get your new one. Slide it in here. You know, the arm is good so you can replace that. That's just the same type of clip. If you just want to replace the latch, attach your old arm, put your new latch in there, put your two bolts in. Take them up here, get your coat hanger or something. Oh, actually, this only goes down to here. It's good to know. There's a tray in here, so if, if I don't know if the latch is in there, you may not be able to get, but it's only about this deep. So I can stick my hand in there, grab the arm piece, put it in the old release lever, and you're good to go. So you got a couple options there. This one's dented up pretty bad, and I, I got, I got another tailgate sitting right there. So I just got to throw this other one in. So now you have options. If just the latch is rusty, like this one's good. That one over there is kind of rusty. If I really wanted to keep this tailgate, I could just change out that latch and uh, put a different one in. So there you go. So here's the old tailgate got damaged during the plow season. So this is the original one that came with the truck. And this is one I got out of junkyard. Starcraft is off a half ton. I had to change the latches, the hinges, sorry. And then I put the old cables back on. Had to adjust the striker post out a little bit so I'd meet up. And then I took the cover out, creased, creased the little hinge up top, so she shuts, and she opens, still a little sticky, this side is, is bent in just a little bit, I'd like to see if I can maybe put a chain around there against a big tree and Gently persuade it with a come along. I think that would help out quite a bit. So for now, figured out why the old one did that too. When you hit these, there's a spring in there that's supposed to make them come back. But they don't come back on their own. So you have to. Uh, Move them back by hand until you get them worn in, greased, and get them springs working. So we'll see. But for now, it works. So pretty sweet. 